Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Veil of Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. Everything's been going well, but for some reason, as I've uh, just loaded the save, this has popped up straight away. So I don't know why it's loaded this in as I've loaded the game in, whether it was meant to pop up at the end uh, of the turn or the start of the turn last time. I don't know. We're going to accept it anyway, but you can see we're still on the same money in the same turns. I haven't done anything. Uh, that's why. It's because it was an adoption not completed last time, or was it an adoption that's been done already? Is this not this guy up at Ilanen? No, that's Knut. Yeah, so I, I don't actually know why that has happened unless he's down here. Uh, but anyway, it's been going really well, guys, hasn't it? It's been going really nicely. We took Mornithel, um, and now we are going against the remnants of Rune. Well, whoever's left. We've taken Lest as well. Nice little bit of a battle there. We're sieging down Mistrand. There are eight turns left to siege it down. So I'm a bit worried we're going to get absolutely ruined by someone over there. We'll actually move you back to the port so you can't get killed by runic boats. Although it would be a nice place to be able to re... Uh, to uh, run away to. The one issue we have here is no cavalry. So what I'm actually going to do is after uh, next turn, we're going to get some privateer cavalry and maybe some Rovanian riders if we can. The Rovanian riders are not the greatest cavalry in the world. You can see two and seven. But the privateer cavalry is very nice. Will we have enough money? No, we won't. We're actually losing money right now. So we really need to get this uh, trade moving again. And you can see because we don't have that many ports... We aren't trading up with Dale just yet, which is a little bit annoying, but it's not a problem. It's not a problem. We'll we'll keep on going. Now, over here, we are going to move. We are going to attack this Easterling army, and we are going to destroy them once and for all. So we're going to start with a nice little battle. They've got some clansmen who aren't great. These hunters are not terrible. They've got long range, however, which is quite nice for them. Crossbowmen are also quite good because they are effective against armor. They do have their own cavalry this time, so we're going to have to be very careful about that. Some more hunters and some more clansmen. We have a huge wealth of infantry here, so, you know, we're really going to have to use that infantry. We've also got a load of cavalry, so I'm hoping we can just, you know, stack into these guys and surround them. So... Without further ado, guys, let's get into the battle. So I'll see you there. Here we are, guys. And it's quite a nice little battle map, actually, for us. Quite nice and open, and that's something we definitely want to exploit over here. Although, you know, I keep needing to uh, organize the troops a little bit better. But that's fine. We'll use our Aminyar. I keep calling them Aminyar. <laughs> our Darwinian Swordmasters on the flank to go and flank them. We'll also use our uh, elves as little as possible again in the battle. We're going to use our cavalry just on one flank, probably this far right-hand flank, to sweep around with the Darwinian Swordmasters, not the Amonyar Swordmasters. Uh, and we'll get our guys over here as well. Now, they do have quite a big range advantage uh, in terms of uh, missile advantage as well. And they're actually all the way up on this hilltop. So we're going to have to come and close them down quite quickly. So we'll come up, and as soon as they start firing at us, that is when we'll start running uh, our men. So we'll come up to start with, and we'll see what happens. Now, I hope you've been enjoying the series, guys. I really have. I'm actually recording this just before the first episode uh, premieres. So um, i am not yet seen the uh, response, but thank you for the response anyway, guys, to, uh, uh, to the first episode and the second episode. And, of course, if you want to binge watch that second episode on the premiere, it was straight after the premiere. So anyone binge watching can do so. Right, let's get speed it up. And, again, we are just going to get shot to pieces, I think, on our way up. So it's good we're coming through trees to start with. They're going to move around a little bit. It's not really going to be too worrying. Going up the hill is never, you know, it's not going to be great, but it's not going to be too bad. And we are going to stay on this side because they've got their dragon riders over there. And their dragon riders are actually a fantastic unit. We're not taking any losses just yet, so that 170 meter range on the uh, Baroon Hunters has not yet been put into place, but it seems like it is now. So, we'll get everyone running. They should all be f nice and fresh and eager. Um, and the Thorn Guard, we're going to have to take you off that for now. Come on, everyone. Get in place. We don't have that many uh, 
you know, they don't have much infantry troops, so we could actually probably go forward pretty quickly. Uh, but I want my Moriquendi Sentinels to get a couple of shots in. And I don't mind the Thorn Guard taking a bit of damage to start with. Because they're not really a very expensive or really strong unit. So them taking damage is, is not a problem whatsoever. I love our cavalry on this flank. Ready to fight. Some of these guys have been through some serious battles. Um, namely this uh, Thorn Riders and this Rovanian Riders. They've got a nice bit of experience now as well. I'm actually going to group them together. Fortunately, they're going to fire at my Elven troops. Rather than anyone else. So, let's go. And uh, let's get our Swordmasters up here as well. Our, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, our Swordmasters. I was going to say the wrong one again. But not today. Not today, guys. These trees are a bit annoying, aren't they? Where are their cavalry? We can zoom in. Where is their cavalry? Oh, their cavalry is hiding now. So, we'll come forward. We are going to just shred them with our cavalry. So let's go. Get into the fight, boys. Get in. Don't need to wait around. And uh, our archers can now start firing at the Daratai clansmen if they want. In terms of the elves, we'll just move them slowly forward. We're not going to need them, are we? They're all running away, as you can see. Where is their cavalry now? Is their cavalry also their general? Oh, there they are. Let's get after them. I really want to just kill them. If we can surround them and kill them, that'd be great. In terms of these guys, you can now go in spear wall. Uh, where are the sword masters? Let's get you into... We'll get you into the Daratai clansmen. You should do some decent damage on those boys. Where's our cavalry? Here it is. Come on, boys. Let's go. Glorious. Oh, we got a great charge off there. Oh, fantastic charge. Really good. We're already making them waver. Hopefully, we can kill 85% of them. So, I'm, I'm happy to stay in melee with these guys. My privateer cavalry is a fantastic unit. So, I'm not worried about losing too many of them. I think they'll do fine. It's just if they start getting into the uh, hunters over here and that sort of thing. I think we need to maybe, you know, reform ourselves first. Uh, but these guys, you know, these Swordmasters have not been very good, have they? They've really been poor, I've got to say. Now we go after the Dragon Riders. They're coming back after us. So we'll try and get the charge off again. They were coming out for, to, to go for another charge. Come on, guys. That's not a charge. Just milling around. <laughs> well, they haven't got many troops left in there anyway. Right, the Swordmasters, we're going to go into the back of the Hunters over here. Because if we can crumble this flank, we can surround this whole blob. I'm not too worried about those clansmen. Uh, and then we can start charging this guy in the back. So, come on, Swordmasters, get your charge off. You should have a decent charge. Uh, if I can remember correctly, you do. Let's get it on times two speed as well. Come on, guys. Kill them. God's sake, you're so slow. Come on. These guys are broken. Let's get uh, around here. Our Thorn uh, sort of uh, Bladesmen, you know, they've always done quite well. They've never been too bad. So let's charge into the enemy there. You guys can go up to fight them. And uh, the Swordmasters as well. You can get in the back there. And I think this is going to be a mass route, surely. Is that everyone routing? Everyone apart from the Daratai clansmen up here. Stop you firing. Get the Light of Elbereth. On there, just for the boys. Surely that's everyone. Oh, there's some fighting to the death. Right, well, uh, let's clean them up, shall we? Um, and let's make sure, you know. Have we killed more than 85%? Just, just on the cusp of 85 right now. So, where are their troops? Are oh, there some down here? Let's forget the Rovanian riders down here as well. Speed it up. And that should be more than 85. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's their general dead as well. Nice. So, yeah, let's exit the battle there. We've won it. And we've just shredded them, really. We lost a few men. More men than I was expecting, honestly. The Thorn Guard, you know, got a, a bit of a shredding there. So did the Bladesmen. And the Swordmasters did quite well. Quite well. The Riders, of course, they were fighting a lot better troops than themselves. So, it makes sense that they lost a few men. Privateer Cavalry as well. That's fine. Um, I think we... We did good, so I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and of course we are going to execute them, although the money would be nice. 
I think we need to execute them. Make sure they don't survive. No way the man of the hour. I mean... He's already exists. I don't know why that's, you know, <laughs> popping up there. But he's a very, very nice, uh, nice guy. He's the Avarim Remnant Counselor, plus one acumen. Let's have a look at the uh, Light of Elbereth. Uh, where is it? Special ability somewhere? Special ability. Yeah, it's, it's just what it tells you on there. So that's good. They actually have started, you know telling you that stuff now because they didn't used to it used to you used to have to go into into here to find this special ability and know what it all know what it was so it's good they're starting to tell us that on the map themselves so that's cool lest might be under attack quite soon that's not a problem i don't really mind if we lose lest again because that might stop you know the hordes <laughs> coming after us um but I think we're at the end of the turn, are we? I don't believe we've got anything else to move. You're coming down. That's good. You probably want to join Norway. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad we've got our spy up here to see where this guy's going. He's got a really good army. So, you know, in, on top of the mercenaries in our other army, we might need to recruit some mercenaries down there as well. Ah, we are going to go and try and trade with Dolgador. Maybe get some, maybe sell them map information or get some map information ourselves. Um, we did do a toggle fog of war last time. I'm sh I hope that was okay, guys. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. This is going to be a bloody, quite brutal battle, I've got to say. But luckily, we are in the defensible position. Are these guys horse archers? Yes, they are. They have their own horse archers now, which is not good. The dragon riders are great. The Dragon Guard are great, but the rest of these guys, the Daratai Warriors and stuff, they're probably a little bit better than some of my troops. But the Thorn Guard can do a really nice spear wall, which is fantastic. But in fact, looking at it, we don't have a huge amount of troops. Oh, these guys are trash. We should uh, be able to destroy them quite easily. But the rest of this army, this is going to be a really brutal battle, and hopefully we win. And hopefully we do enough to take Mistran. That is the main thing. So we've got to focus on this army. Make sure we kill Abdus. Um, yeah. Dragon Cult Trader. Nice. I love that. Dragon Cult Priest and a Candish Mercenary. Nice. I love this guy. Right. Well, let's get into the battle. Apparently, out of all these guys, Fourth Win has 10 Command. He is the commander. What a beast of a man. 10 Command. That's crazy. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the battlefield. Here we are, guys. And um, if we look at this road. So we were getting attacked from the front. So it should... They should be coming... The second army should be coming from the left over here. Now, normally, you know, if it's not a hilly map, you should be able to see the settlement. But I can't actually see it. We do have a little bit of a hill. It's not, you know, it's not big. <laughs> it's not that ginormous. I am worried they're coming in from over there, though. So what we're going to do... In fact, you know, we'll set up quite far back just so that we can, you know, adjust and see where they're coming in from uh, and make sure we're in the right place and set up nicely. So we'll get our guys in spear wall over here. We'll also get our thorn bladesman on the side in, uh, in spear. Uh, shield wall, that should be nice. And then these boys on this side and shield wall as well. Our levies, hmm, where do we want to stick our levies? Maybe just in reserve, because if they rout, that's not going to be great. In fact, we might use our levies to try and kill that first army. Uh, we've got another thorn bladesman over this side. You can, uh, yeah, no, we'll do this. You you guys can, can hold the flanks if we are going to get flanked. And then we've got these boys over here. And we've got Avalyn, and we'll use Avalyn as much as possible. Fourth win, you can go right in the middle, my friend. Um, you're quite a decent unit. We'll get you about here. We'll get the uh, the rangers out the back there. Actually, you two archer units can go there. That'll be great. Uh, right then, let's see where they come in from. So they're coming in from the middle. These guys, I think, are going to come after us straight away. And if they do, that's fantastic. We'll use... Probably the levies and the cavalry to chase them down and do some damage. Maybe one of these bladesman units. Yeah, I think these two sort of 
reserve units, unless they're just going away to join the other army. If they do that, I'm happy with that as well. If they all come at once, that's fine. We've just got to be really careful of the cavalry. Why are they going up that hill? That's a little bit weird because... Uh, they attacked us, right? <laughs> they attacked us. So what are they doing? They're going further up the hill. Why are they waiting over there? That's so weird. Well, well done, AI, for being extreme, extremely strange. So what we're going to do, we're going to use Avalyn. And we're going to go after their cavalry. Which cavalry unit is this? That's Dragon Riders. So yeah, we want to. We don't want to face off their horse archers. We'll face off their cavalry instead. Oh, it's a bit jerky right now. Look at that. I think it's the rain, you know. Why is that jerking like that over there? It's jerking like this as well. What is going on? My computer is not struggling. It's not warm or anything at all. Okay, that's a bit better. I don't know. Maybe it was just trying to render in all the troops. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's smooth now. That was weird. <laughs> not seen that before. I want you to get over here. So, get firing into them. I'm not bothered about their bodyguard too much. But I just want to get rid of as much cavalry as possible because that cavalry advantage is quite strong for them. And we've seen how powerful cavalry are. That's a good little folly. Now we're going to get fired at. So let's uh, let's get away slightly. Or we could, uh, you know, in fact, go over this way out of their range. I don't really want to lose Avalyn's men too much. So keep firing. Yeah, we're not under too much fire anymore. You're going to fire, boys? They're a bit spread out now, aren't they? So let's get away. And we'll use them when they get a bit closer. I don't want to use all his ammo just yet either. So let's do that. Get it sped up. Look at that jerkiness. I've not seen that for a while. I don't know why that would be happening. But I don't know why that second army's up there either. So let's, uh, you know, get back slightly. I don't want to get fired on by their, their missile troops. Look at that. Maybe it's looking smooth on the recording. No, it's not. <laughs> That's so strange. I don't have a lot of uh, things running either or anything like that. Now we've got our boys firing, which is great. Fire at the bloody... Those guys first. More than anything. They're firing at Athlin, it looks like. No, they're not. Avalyn, sorry. <laughs> not Athlin. That should shred them. Our, our archers should shred them. That's the one bonus we do have. We've got some really good archers with uh, the Athala Rangers over here. So shred them, boys. Shred them. Very nice. We've got crossbowmen and hunters coming in to fire at us as well. But hopefully as soon as we're into melee, we'll be able to, uh, you know, outmuscle them really in melee. Because a lot of these troops... Ah, yeah, they've got some good troops, haven't they? So we'll defend. We'll try and defend as much as possible. We're not really losing a lot of troops yet, which is great. You guys get on guard mode. We're also going to get probably all this front row on guard mode for now. And hopefully they'll be able to hold them off. Um, I think Athel, uh, the Athala Rangers get you firing at the Dragon Riders again. Now, now they come into the fight, boys. The Balkoth Spearmen going into our spear wall. And then these guys going into the shield wall. Hopefully that charge doesn't do too much on the shield wall. That's great. And there come the dragon riders over this side as well. And what we're going to do, we're going to charge in there. What I'm going to try and do is use these guys, these two units here, to flank around as much as possible. Hopefully we don't lose fourth win. That would be a bit annoying. What are these guys doing? What are they doing? That's so weird. <laughs> That's so unbelievably strange. I've not seen that before. <laughs> um, yeah, keep firing at the uh, the Baroon guys. Right, fourth win. You need to get into the side of these guys ASAP. If you can get those Dragon Riders stopped, that'd be great. Looks like you're not going to be able to, so get into the Daratai Warriors. We're going to come over here. Uh, we could also do with firing at the Locrim bodyguard. In terms of our cavalry, it looks like we might have a bit of an advantage now. So they're going to charge. So we need to turn around. And we can surround this, this cavalry unit. 
The rest of their cavalry is over here. Oh, they've done some damage to those blade masters, unfortunately. So, right. Well, they're saying victory will be ours, but <laughs> it doesn't look great for us, does it? You guys, yeah, keep firing. Firing over there. You guys can keep firing at these guys. Hopefully taking them out. Our cavalry. Avalyn's going to be, you know, a really, really important boy for us. To get the Thorn Bladesman in there. I really don't want Fourthwin in, in this fight, though. I want Fourthwin over here surrounding these boys. This is going to be brute. Guys, listen to me for fuck's sake. <laughs> so annoying. Listen. Listen. And you're not running either. Uh, right. We'll use one of our leaderships. Remember, we've got a lot of leaderships. So we're fine. Now you guys get over there. We'll also use another leadership. And that'll lock our morale for a little bit. If we can get into the Baroon uh, Riders, which we're not going to be able to, that'll be fine. But let's get into these guys. Let's see if we can charge them and get rid of them. Because they're doing quite a bit of damage. And this will, uh, you know, even out the back for us slightly. So, Avalyn, come back out, my friend. Come out, my friend. There we are. The enemy are badly bloodied. And let's charge the Lokrim bodyguard in the back. If we can kill that bodyguard... That general, that's going to be really important. How did that charge do? That actually did quite a lot. So I think we focus on the general for now. These guys have turned around now, which is great. You guys charge into them. You guys come this way as well. These guys keep firing. Keep firing, my friends. Fire into those riders. And then we'll charge the bodyguard again. Where is the general? That is the main thing. It's hard to tell which one's the general in this these uh, units, isn't it? Nice. He's firing his men. Yep, they're down. They're down very far. I think we'll get rid of them quite soon. Avalyn is also, you know, faltering a little bit. Oh, they they've started coming now with that second army. That's good for them. Bad for us. So get firing at those boys. You guys are going to have to get into the uh, Dragon Guard. We've lost half of our men. Yep. How about them? Oh, we're equal right now. They started with more men, though. But I think as soon as that general dies, we will be fine-ish. <laughs> fine-ish. There's never really a fine in this mod, but a fine-ish. <laughs> get in there. Come on, Avalyn. Charge, and hopefully we can kill him. Is he this? He must be this guy, then. No, that's the uh, the flag bearer. Oh, it's this guy with the sword. Yeah, the rest of them don't have swords, do they? The rest of them have got some other stuff. So, Balkov tribesmen are running away. Now, remember, we've got to kill more than 85%. But the 85% here is calculated with this army as well. So, we've got to kill more than 85% of this army first. Right, kill that general. Kill that general. Come on, boys. Go, go, go. I've messed that up. Ah, good, 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 good. Now we'll go straight into these boys. They'll be wavering. Same with you guys. Fight them. There's only 17 of this Thorn Guard. This is going to be a really, really hampered army. So we've got them running. Let's go into the crossbowmen. Now, we really need to use Avalyn to charge these guys down as much as possible. Before we worry about that second army. So let's come away. Come on, guys. This is rubbish charging, I've got to say. You guys get in there. This might route them anyway. So, I mean, not a many have escaped. So by killing as many as possible now, we should be good. Right, you boys. You boys, yeah. Get in there. We'll use... We'll get you boys back here as well. Oh, we've taken some damage in this, this battle, haven't we? Taking some serious damage. Let's get the Baroon Hunters. If we can get the Daratai Crossbowmen as well. Get in there. Now, the main thing here is that these guys are all missile troops. So, we've just killed a load of them. So, I don't want to... F I don't want to get a, a peppering of, a, of Javis over this way. So, we'll get our men. Get them up here. And we're going to have to try and charge into these guys... Because they're hunters again and all that sort of thing. 
Uh, we'll bring you forward. Athel here, or whatever you're called. I forgot what his name is. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I probably should remember that, but oh well. Let's get you guys over there. Let's get in. Let's just go. Let's just go. Get into the fight. That is the main thing. I hate this cavalry as well. Now we've run out of uh, of missiles. That's a big problem for us to deal with. Going to use Avalyn to charge these Baroon Hunters again. Hopefully kill as many as possible. Come on, boys. We're going to lose a lot of men to... Uh, to Javis. But if we can get our Thorn Blazemen around the side, that'll be great. As if they're not, they're not running yet. And as if these guys have not run out of ammo yet. They're broken. They are firing at Avalyn, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. And let's try and surround these boys. They've actually charged my Thorn Bladesman here. Uh, but let's go straight into the Daratai Hunters if we can. Go, go, go. They should not, they should not fare well in this charge. Come on, boys. <laughs> oh, that's a brutal charge. And that is a fantastic charge. That's what we like to see. Let's get it from the back of the Baroon Riders. I'm so hoping that we've killed enough of that first army. So we kill a few more of those. I mean, it's 80% without this second army being pretty much destroyed at all. So that's quite good. Uh, you guys need to get into them. Let's get there. We're getting peppered by missiles here. Oh. Okay, this will, this should make the, the rest of them rout, surely. These guys are going to rout very soon. And then we'll kill that dragon rout. Yes, okay. Good. Good. Speed it up. So, we'll just slow that down slightly. You guys charge after them. Charge after them. You guys can fire into whoever you want. You need to chase them down, really. Now, kill the Daratai Hunters. I'm not too bothered. Like, this second army isn't really a, a worry. So, let's go after the the Dragon uh, the dragon Hunters there. You get after the Balkov Tribesmen. You should be able to kill as many of those as possible. Nice! Well, that is good. And really nice little battle there. We've lost a lot of men. So, we're going to have to either, you know... Uh, just try and hold Mistrand after this, which is probably the play, and try and slowly get more and more men into the army. Look how little we have. We need some nice spearmen, really, would be the option here. And, yeah, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Nice. Well, I'm very happy with that result. <laughs> A little bit sketchy, but the first, uh, the first half an hour of this episode is all battles, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Very nice. And that was quite a brutal battle. I was a bit worried about that. I thought we might lose at one point. Right, come over here. Who is this? Where are they? There's literally one man. Go on, son. You can make it. Tell everyone the the wrath of Dorwinian is powerful if you escape, sir. I don't, I'm still not convinced you're going to. You're quite slow. And you're going a very diagonal route. Will we catch him? Surely not. No, he has escaped. You may escape, sir. Tell everyone about the wrath of Dorwinian. Oh, that 100% should be them destroyed. Look at that. We lost 800. We killed 1,600. But more than that, uh, we've captured a lot. Look at that. 367 uh, people captured. Look at these. 477 for this Avari Naharim. That is crazy. The Spear Guard of Fourth win as well, 269. Um, how did the Athala Rangers do? 164. A bit disappointing there, but they did get quite uh, pinned down, really, I've got to say. But yeah, some great results. Well done, guys. Well done. A brutal battle, but a victory nonetheless. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. We could, you know, ransom them for some money, but no. Let's execute so we can take Mistrand. Now... I kind of want to sack it, but I don't want to lose too many of the buildings. Um, yeah, but we do need to kill. I think, you know, we'll occupy. We are nice. We are Darwinian, although we're executing all the captives. <laughs> but this is surely going to create a big reaction from, um, from Rune. And I, they will get probably a...
a stack army now that we've taken Mistrand. Ah, uh, so that is, yeah, that's slightly scary. Mistrand overrun. The sorrow now covers every single face of men of Rune, for they fought in vain. The capital, once a place of trade and a powerful military haven, has now been overrun by its enemies. Those who defended it died in terrible circumstances, and the few who survived can now tell to their fellow men and loved ones what fate they might have met if they hadn't survived. A lesson has been learnt by the Easterlings this day. We are resplendent. The land of wine and song is rising. The elves look upon them with favour, and their allies have pulled them to their sides with unwanted splendour and resolve. Much uh, would many give to see a kingdom where elves call it their home, and a beauty is kindled that will not die. The vineyards shall not be devoured by axe and flame. Wonder and joy are born once more under the dim shadow that ate at its very borders. Dorwinian, yes! Dol Amroth's also doing well. The hordes of Khand are come like a cracking whip. Okay. So Khand is doing well as well, which is quite good. Fourth win, Conqueror of Mistrand. What a boy, huh? What a boy. Uh, look at all our men. They've all uh, been merged. So we've got the Mason's Hall. Let's have a look at a few of the other things. We've also got the Tent of the Khan. Which uh, we can't destroy, so we're going to leave that, of course. We've got our uh, meeting hall. The barracks we can't use. The practice range, neither. So let's get rid of that. The inn, I think we can, so we'll leave that. Bazaar, leather tanner. They don't have a port here. That's very weird. Let's get rid of the barracks as well. Now, in terms of the culture, yeah, there's no Northmen here. So we're going to have to get the culture in there straight away. Um... Oh, this is slightly a, a bit of a scary situation. You can see they've sieged down less now. They've only got three men, though, and I think we'll be fine. What we're going to do, I'm worried a bit about Avalyn. I don't mind if Fourthwin and Athel here die, but Avalyn is, is not someone we want to really die. So what I'm going to do is get rid of Avalyn for now, because in a you know defensive siege, he's not going to be great anyway. So we're going to send these fellas home. How is the, uh... So we're going to have to put that onto low. I'm going to send you home to Strondost for retraining. And while we're in Strondost, while we've got some money... Ah, uh, maybe not Strondost. Hmm. Well, let's go for that and some Thorn Crossbowmen. Because they'll be really good in event defensive siege. Um, yeah, and we're going to have to get the standing stones and see how we do. Now, for the rest of the turn, most of this money in this turn is going to be spent on military. So we're going to get privateer axemen. I would love some cavalry. Um, but where is our spy over here? I th We do have you. What you're going to do is come down this way to find Austin Eri. Yeah, we'll go straight for Austin Eri. You're going to keep an eye on Vilter to make, so make sure they don't. You know, that army doesn't go straight up to Santan Wheel or Carverad. You're going to go up to Carverad. This vineyard levies we don't need in there anymore, so we'll send you to Santan Wee. Uh, and then in Santan Wee, we are going to go for some Dorwinian infantry. The Swordmasters have really been a bit disappointing. They, You know, that defense of 12 and the 4 defense skill is really not great. You know, the Thorn, uh, the Thorn Guard have more defense skill than them. The vineyard levies, yeah, not quite, but that defense is, is just poor. Uh, but we're going to get those three units in. Maybe uh, maybe some Thorn Guard as well. So we're spending all of our money on military this turn, but it's definitely needed. Um, and, you know, with our expansions recently, we will be fine, I think, for our economy. So, yeah, it's going to be fine. I th and I think we can hold less against these guys. They're not the best units, so... Them assaulting the walls will not be that good for them. Um, I just hope this guy doesn't get attacked with Avalyn in. <laughs> that would be so disappointing. Oh. Uh, but yeah, We're spending all of our money on the uh, on the military right now is a little bit scary. Yes, but we've just decided we're going to blitz Rune. So that's what we're going to have to do. I am worried that they are going to have a big stack come and siege us down here. But hopefully... You know, with our recruits in Strondost 
And we'll have a look to see whether we can recruit some more men. I think these men that are recruited in Santan Wee will come across as well. So then we'll have a pretty decent army in Mistrand ready to go take the couple of settlements up here. What I might in fact do is go down to Matarand down here. Mataram, sorry. Because we've had to go west with this army. And then come back up northeast. And if they take Mistrand back in the process... That'll be fine. Oh, but this is, yeah, this is quite bloody and brutal. It's getting a little bit hairy now, but we are, you know, expanding very quickly. Very, very quickly indeed, which is really nice. Really good and good fun, to be fair. Really good fun. I just hope we can defend Mistrand if they do attack us. And here they are. This is the Easterlings of Room. Oh, they've just skipped and we've not seen them do anything. So they've not sieged us down again anywhere else, which is great. Um, yeah, a little bit worrying. <laughs> Every time it goes past them, you're like, Ooh, what's going to happen here? I hope uh, Khan goes good. That'd be, that'd be so nice for us as well. Uh, and we are starting, we are back to making money. Ooh, Captain Corgi, huh? No mercenaries available. We do have a nice bit of cavalry, though, so I'm not worried about their cavalry in this army. They do have quite a bit of it, of course, like we've seen. One, they've got some Baroon Riders again. It's only two units of cavalry. These Far Rune Mercenaries, though, are absolutely brutal. There's 150 of them in, in the unit as well. <sighs> They're a very nice unit. Uh, but we've got our own Privateer Axemen, who are not quite as good, but they are armor-piercing. Are those Far Rune Mercenaries armor-piercing? No, they're just really, really good unit, especially for a human unit. How far can you go? I mean, if we can siege down Austin Erie, it's only a wooden wall as well. Next turn, then we can defend in there, can't we? Which will be really good. So get these guys out. You guys are going to go straight to Strondost. Get in there. Uh, and then, yeah, the ones we've, we've trained. Wait. Why... Why did I get rid of the Swordmasters? That was a bit dumb of me, wasn't it? But anyway, you guys come down to there. I'm not going to leave them on the boats just in case they get killed. And you're going to go back to Mistrand. Uh, in terms of you boys... Let's retrain these boys. Why can the Why did I bring the Swordmasters? That's so weird. That was a bit stupid of me. But we're going to leave... Uh, Avelyn in there for now. And we'll put the Swordmasters in the fort if we can. It looks like they're just going to siege down Lest. If we need to, what we might do is walk through, destroy them on the way, uh, and then go to the uh, go to Mistrand. Oh, getting a bit hairy. Getting a little bit hairy. Uh, but it's fine. And then this army in Santan Wheat, you're also going to come down to uh, Strondost. Takes you a little bit of time to get there, in fact. Um... You're coming back. So, yeah, we might get them on the boat and then come down. Do we want to get any more troops? Have we got anyone else we can recruit in Karasant, for example? Not really. These guys are coming now as well. Um, Lest, of course, we can't recruit anyone. Uh, can we build anything? We can build the Leather Tanner. That does give us extra money. But do we want to just save the money just in case we need some extra... I think we just want to save it just for now, just in case we need some extra, you know, cash uh, for next turn to get some mercenaries, that sort of thing. Ah, well, let's have a look at Mistrand anyway, see whether there are mercenaries available here. That's the wrong one. Yes. Yeah, there are a load of mercenaries available here. We've got cell swords and we've got privateer axemen. Well, right now we don't need them, so let's leave fourth win there for now. Let's end the turn again. Let's see what happens. This army is coming down. You're going down to Santa Mui. Hmm. I think we can send those levies to help out with Norway. And yeah. Then uh, they're not a brilliant unit, but they'll be fine. That's Rune. Oh, it took a little bit of time, so they might be doing something a little bit sketchy for us. Uh, but they can't get all the way to us. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. You've got to remember that, 
you know, they've got another settlement down below um, the one we're just sieging down now. So, if we look. Ah, the ring is at Dolgador. That's not good for us. That's not good for us. But they've got a settlement actually down here as well, I believe. Yeah, we, we can't tell. The Plains of Sorrow. They are coming after us. That's fine. We're going to have to just siege down, you know, uh, siege it down. Uh, now, over here, I would like to have got the second level of that. But, yeah, it's going to start getting the Northmen out there pretty quickly, which is great. In terms of the Great Hall, what does that allow us? Just Vineyard Bowmen and stuff. Uh, yeah. The stables, we don't need that either, do we? Which type of barracks? Yeah, we want the Thorn Barracks. And they only need 33% for that. But instead of that, we're going to get the Tomb. Which is uh, quite nice. Mistrand is a minor city, which is fantastic. Uh, oh, we failed to send an emissary to the Goblins of Moria. Not going to lie, I'm not bothered about that at all. <laughs> Get you guys retrained. And then this Thorn Riders, because we don't have much cavalry in that army. It's going to come this way. You guys are going to come here. Going to bring you up. You guys can get in and come down to here as well. So if you can get in Strondos, that'd be great. Now, you guys, let's... Now we've dropped these guys off, we can actually bring these boys back for retraining as well. So let's do that. Uh, and the Swordmasters can go in there. We can get the Thorn guys in there. And you guys need to go there. Um, oh, they've actually left the Siege of Les now, which is great for us, so fantastic. They're probably going to go down to Bur Americus, which I think we can defend, you know. I think we can defend uh, just against those three units that are not great units with the towers, with the walls. I think we'll be fine. But first things first, let's go to Ostineri. Now, our spies, we've got two spies down here, don't we? So I want this guy... Is this all Plains of Sorrow? No, it's not. You can see they have the old Rune Road down here as well. So we need to come onto the old Rune Road and have a look at what's going on. With this guy, we'll, uh, we'll come down this way and try and find the other settlements that they have over here. Because they've got quite a few. And you can see it's a massive region. This is where it pretty much ends. So I think they'll have one, two, obviously Viltor up here, three, four, five... Six, maybe this is just one, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten settlements left. It's quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite a lot. But first things first, let's let's uh, let's get into the battle. we got two rams, which isn't great. We've got the Lokan Margaz, Morgoz, which is the faction leader, I believe. And he's got Loknar Rim. Ooh. Spicy. So it's going to be Loknar Rim versus the Moriquendi Sentinels in here. Uh, is he the faction leader? Yes, he is. So we can kill the faction leader once again. And they don't even, they haven't even brought these guys in to, uh, defend. Fantastic. Well, guys, we'll see you on the battlefield. Here we are. And it's not exactly, you know, the most developed settlement. The one problem we will have is if that Lognar Rim actually does decide to fire on our rams. <laughs> that might be a little bit scary for us. So, yeah, I think going for that bit of the wall there is good. And then we'll probably go for this bit of the wall here. Or, in fact, we'll just take t these two and we'll just go for one opening. Um, just in case this one gets burnt by the Loknar Rim. And we'll get all our men ready. We'll send in the uh, Swordmasters first. Or maybe the Cavalry. Or maybe, no, actually, in fact, the Privateer Axemen would be a great unit to go in first. And these guys can fire into the enemy. Uh, they're over there. And we can actually fire at them right away. That's great. It seems like we can. If we get a bit further forward. Let's speed it up. It's going to be a little bit, hopefully a quick siege, but we shall see. The clansmen are not great. 
I really ideally want to fire at the Loknar Rim. They're quite... If we uh, pause for a second. Melee is 8 and 15 defense. So they're not even bad in melee. They're a really good unit overall. Um, but we might just... We could just send in Norway against them. But in terms of surrounding them, yeah, we can come over here, fire into them. We can also bring troops through this way. I'm not bothered about going all the way around the back. But it shouldn't be too bad of a battle. So let's get that sped up. And breach the walls. Nice. Let's go. I think we send these Thorn Bladesmen in to just fight these guys to start with. Let's go with the Swordsmasters. And then what we'll do, Thorn Guard, get you off that. Uh, in fact, Privateer Axemen this way. And then what we'll do, we'll send these boys over here with the Moriquendi Sentinels. And that should be enough to kill them off. I don't think we'll need to do anything else. In fact, what we might do... Uh, no, there's no point wasting our cavalry. Good thing about them firing over, the, over like this is they're not actually going to do much damage. I doubt, the Daratai Clansmen are quite good. I think they'll be, uh, you know, they'll do a bit of damage. Oh, they're actually... That's quite an accurate fire over that building. So, we'll get Norway here. Come on, Norway. It's going to be a an archer off over this side. They've got the first few shots off. But as soon as we're in place, we should be better than them. So, let's fire. And what we're going to do... We're just going to charge them straight away. There we are. Good. I think we're beating them in the uh, the archer battle, to be honest. This is going to be the hard thing, though. You guys get in there because they're so good in melee. Uh, and what we'll do, we'll get the Moriquendi Sentinels in and we'll go Light of Elbereth. So these guys can... Oh, they've shredded them. They've absolutely shredded them. We've been a bit beaten with the Thorn Bladesman. They've been a bit beaten back, but... We've shredded everyone else. Nice. Now we need to surround these boys. In fact, we'll try and get the Privateer Axemen in first. Speed it up. And there we are. Nice. Well done, boys. Some great fighting. Come on, the Privateers. Let's go. Get in there. They've not got many men left, have they? This spear wall is so good. There we are. Nice. Fantastic. And um, we only lost 99. Offensive Siege. I know they only had two men, uh, two units, but yeah. Thorn Blaze win 111. Well done, boys. Well done. Uh, yeah, Moriquendi Sentinels as well. Well done. Good. Fantastic. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Fantastic. I'm hoping they will let Siege us down. Their leader's dead as well. That is great. And... Got a mining network in here, which is fantastic. How much does that make? 320. Very nice. First things first, make sure we can repair that. Um, and they're on 70%, so I'm happy to risk, you know, pressing the end turn there. And hopefully they, they think they can uh, take us on in a siege battle, because that would be great. Although we don't have good walls here and it's only a town, it's better than nothing, isn't it? It's better than fighting them in the open plain. And then when we're done with these boys, we'll send them across this way. And I could actually do, if I had the money, let's get that spy in there. If he will be recruited, I'm not sure. But hopefully we can recruit the spy there. And we'll go have a look up here. And if they don't have many units up here, what I might do is just send, say, uh, just send Forthwin, the Conqueror of Mistrand. <laughs> With like a, a couple of these crossbowmen, a couple of thorn guard, and a thorn bladesman or something to go and take these these re these regions, as well as uh, Gazar Ibar up here as well, and maybe a cavalry. A cavalry would be good. You guys get in there. Well, let's end the turn again. We're on thirty turns in, and I think we're doing pretty well, honestly. The problem we have at Austin Airy now, though, is do we go north or do we go west? And I think we've got to go up to Viltor and take that because... And then probably, you know, make our way back around in a bit of a, a clockwise motion. The one problem we'll have there, though, is, is fighting Mordor. Mordor might come and attack us. But if they do, you know, we'll just focus down on Rune and then we'll eventually be ready to take on Dolgoror 
and Mordor as well, which will be nice. I'm just surprised Mistran doesn't have a port, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Jasser has arrived outside the walls of Mistrand. There he is. With him comes much of the strength of Rune's vast eastern holdings. Their baggage train stretches as far into the plains as the eye can see. This army has but one purpose. To annihilate, the, annihilate those foolish enough to challenge runic hegemony of this region. We may have won great victory against the Easterlings up to this point, but now the full strength of this mighty nation is laid bare before them. Can we defeat this threat as, the, as we have before, or shall we sound the retreat? I think we sound the retreat if we can't get more troops here. Let's have a look at Jasur. Yes. <laughs> They're all experienced as well. Uh, what? Mistran just has have those standard... Oh, no, it does have stone walls. What's... What we need to do, then? Can we reach Mistran, get the troops off in time, and all that sort of thing? Let us see. Because this, if we could do it, would be quite good. Ah, but it looks like, alas, we cannot. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get the troops off over here. And we're going to try and meet in the middle. So what we're going to leave behind is probably... I might just leave a thorn guard in there. And if we can get up there, how far... They can't catch us. And this army, these two armies together... Should be quite nice. It's a pretty close to a full stack. And then what we'll do is just the same thing. We'll siege down Mistrand. Um, I think that's the best option that we have. Uh, Vineyard Levies. I'll send you down this way as well. Get you guys in Austin Eri. Looks like they've not sieged us down yet. Uh, and because they're going to siege down Mistrand. Let's get rid of that. Save some of the cash. Could go through and destroy all these. But I actually want these buildings. Uh, let's have a look. Anything in here that we don't want if we take it back? I mean, we want all those buildings, don't we? So, let's do that. We are next to each other over here. So, if they do attack us over here, we'll have two armies to fight them, which will be great. Retraining. War declared. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're, we're still in a decent position, although Mistrand will be uh, taken back. I think we're good. Right, let's uh, try and get some, you know, some upgrades going. Can we not build the next level of barracks? Mm. Let's have a look at the barracks. Let's go over here. Requires the Lord's Hall for the Avari barracks. So let's get building that. We don't even have a Great Hall here yet. The same thing can be said for Karasant. Let's go for the Great Hall and then Strondost as well. We'll go for it in all of those buildings. Uh, and that'll allow us to train some good units going forward. We'll keep in Austin Airy for now. I would quite like to get the Standing Stones to build that up. Uh, but it's okay. Mornithel, how are you doing? Pretty much Northman, which is quite nice. It's a large city as well, which is fantastic. Let's get that up to normal tax rate because it doesn't need to be on low. It doesn't need to grow. Um, so that's good. And I'm glad we managed to get both of these guys off here. That is <laughs> that is a scary army. I'm hoping that's the only, the only army that they do get that is uh, scripted. You know, if, they, if it is, then we're in a really good position because we can beat them. And then we'll keep on going. So, Dorthalu is over there. I think that is the end. Yeah, then it is Dolgador. So, let's come down here. You guys get on there. There's Varfest. So, this is all Old Rune Road. This is Scorched Plains. Let's come this way a little bit. This is all Old Rune Road as well. So, I don't think they have another one. So, once we've beaten that army, we can go Viltor... Down to Dorthalu. It doesn't even have walls, Dorthalu, it looks like. Which is good for us. To Varfest. And then back across. It's just a long, long way, isn't it? To keep on walking. We'll go down the old Rune Road to make sure that, you know, this is the, the only settlements they have around here. Did we get a spy? 
He's going to get in next turn, but he might be killed in the siege, unfortunately. But let's end the turn. Let's see what we want to do. Oh, well, a glorious episode again. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just waiting to see what happens with that big army. Luckily, they can't catch us up here. Uh, oh, they have sieged down Austin Eddy. That's great. That'll be a nice defensive siege if they decide to attack us. Um, and hopefully they do. Hopefully they don't be cowards. Hopefully they come for us so we can destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> nice and quickly. Um, in terms of uh, Toggle Fog of Wars, guys, I don't think we're going to do another one uh, for quite a while, you know. We did one quite early, really. Jasser hasn't moved. He's got loads of Loknar Rim and Dragon Guard. Uh, yeah, Dragon Guard, all that sort of thing. Hmm... So let's get these guys together. How does that army look? It looks quite good. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop here. So we're just out of the range of that army. Um, they're going to rebel again and riot a little bit again. Trade increase, agent recruited, spy. That's great. And what we might do is, is go into... Mistrand and just try and hold them off if they do decide to attack us. There's Elgair. Uh, we want to see this one over here and then we want to come and find I think it's just on the edge there but I'm, I've forgotten already. Um, in terms of building, we are building in all those all those three. Let's have a look at Mornithel. Can we build anything? I probably want to build that Mason's Hall but potentially we might have better stuff to build elsewhere. I think the Mason's Hall in Mornithel will be a good idea. So let's go for that. I probably could have kept that building going then in Mistrand until they sieged it down rather than cancelling it. But, oh well, not much we can do about it now. Uh, we don't have Standing Stones over here, so that would be a good option to get as well. Let's end the turn again. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, we're coming down the old Rune Road. Looks like that is all just old Rune Road. Yeah, that's... It's all Old Room Road over there. So, that is... Uh, we just need to get up to the river. And there's only two settlements over that way. So, that's fine. Don't think it's going to be a problem. I think we'll be fine. Get get a few nice watchtowers around the regions as well. Okay. Rune, are you going to attack? Okay. They decided not to do anything, it looks like. I'm surprised they're not attacking at Austin Eri. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Make sure we don't, you know, siege ourselves out. <laughs> That wouldn't be good. That really wouldn't be good. That'd be terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Rumors from Ered Lewin. Uh, Mistrand is just getting shredded. So yeah, all of this is old Rune Road. Then that Scorched Plain. So these are the only two down this end that we need to worry about. What I might do is, is come up here uh, and find these rebel settlements as well. So that we know where they actually are. And let's keep going down the old Rune Road. I think this river is the border. So yeah, Runic Plains, old Rune Road. Yeah, cool. Now let's just check. Because I, they might have a settlement all the way down here. But I, I've forgotten. Um, so let's get to Mistrand. And this army should be able to defend here. Surely. Surely. I know it's a really good army that they're bringing. But I'm sure we'll be able to uh, defend. Uh, we can retrain these boys. I don't know why or how, but okay, we can. <laughs> uh, and then, do we want standing stones in Lest? Probably. Although, yeah, I think it's more pertinent in Bur Emericus down here. Repair of the Leather Tanner is complete. Nice. How many turns for Austin Airy? Five until they take it. So, while we're doing that, we might as well, you know get a couple of more vineyard vineyard levy bowmen they're not too bad you know all the archers in this game are not bad they do a lot of damage over time so yeah we'll do that uh, and this spy let's bring up bring him up yeah there's rhubar so let's keep coming around they don't have a huge amount of uh, settlements or troops over this way so yeah once mistrand's besieged and we we defend it we should be good so let's press the end turn one more time and let's see what happens I, I was hoping they would attack Austin Airy, but looks like they're not going to. So we might have to sally out. 
But normally it takes the AI. Okay, they are attacking. <laughs> okay, there we are. They're they are attacking Austin Eric. Let's have a look. You know, the, the cavalry is not going to be so useful for them. The Faroon mercenaries are, however, they are a fantastic unit. Um, ten armor. So what we're going to have to try and do is get those privateer axemen into them. But the rest of them, the troops, are just the standard troops. In terms of this second army, yeah, not going to be a problem. But what we'll do is we'll leave that till next time, guys. So if you have enjoyed, a like and subscribe would really, really help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.